community that came together searching high and low for a missing toddler. Now grappling with a tragic ending after the boy is found dead inside a pond not far from his home. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa has been following this story all day for us. Tammy? Curtis, the outpouring of support from volunteers and search and rescue teams was huge. And now nearly 24 hours later, they found the little boy in a runoff pond about 500 feet from his house. It's not the ending anyone wanted, but they never gave up hope along the way. We're not doing it for the mom and dad. We're doing it for that little man. Hundreds of volunteers walking side by side, walking back, combed the woods, dive teams, swam creeks, ponds, and a quarry. This man put 110 miles on his quad bike, searching the back roads. It don't have to be family, friends. It's just the love of people. In the end, a firefighter found the body of two-year-old Leroy Toppins in a runoff pond near his house. Sheriff deputies say his body was just three feet from shore. Deputies say the pond wouldn't have been there if it hadn't rained so much this weekend. Uh, there's nothing to indicate foul play. The family's been extremely cooperative uh, throughout the entire process. Uh, we believe the child just merely wandered away, got too close to water, and, and fell in. It's muddy, it's slick, you got a bunch of rocks. You can slide down into, I mean, it's, it's bad back in there. It's really bad. Leroy had been missing since Friday at 6 p.m. Family members told sheriff deputies he was playing outside with his siblings when he vanished. We're never equipped to deal with death, regardless of where it is. It's especially troubling when you have a, 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 a small baby. They may have found Leroy's body, but investigators and his family are still searching for why. All the parents, you know, you got to. Got to watch them little ones, because they'll be 10 foot from you one minute, and 100 yards the next, and that 100 yards, that's what got us out here. Now, sheriff deputies say the child's parents were with them outside until he wandered off. They tell me right now there is no indication of foul play or neglect. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5.